things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, okay. we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. Mm -hmm. That is the curse. Hello, it's Average Row, and welcome back to God of War. So I know in the last couple of episodes, I've been saying something I wanted to do was uh, backtrack to areas we've been um, on the journey and things like that, and see if there's any um, Winds of Hell puzzles or Hell's Bramble we can clear out just to get more goodies, you know what I mean? But I was thinking, I don't know if I can make a full episode out of just doing that. Um, and we have no favors to do, really. We just have the Valkyries, which, again, I previously said I'm kind of done with for a while. I'm going to put a pause on that, um, especially since the last one took a whole episode and a half to beat. And then the only other one we have is uh, this Niflheim cipher, which, uh, again, I, I have no idea where to even start looking for those things. So basically, there's really nothing to do other than going back on the journey. Um, so... If we look here, we're on the black rune, so it says find the secret Jotunheim travel rune in Tyr's vault. You know, we got the chisel um, a few episodes ago, and all that's left is this rune, and then we can finally get into Jotunheim and begin climbing the actual highest point in all the nine realms. You know, so I feel like we've made good enough progress with uh, doing some of the side missions we've done. Got a lot of good uh, equipment, so um, yeah, I mean, there's really nothing else to do other than just get this black rune, so... Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with all of my videos. And yeah, let's do this. Alright, I believe we're heading back to Tyr's Temple. Yep, okay, cool. You know, the store has definitely been picking up. You know, it's, it's about to go, I can just tell it's about to go um, to a whole nother level here. Especially now we got that truth... Uh, revealed to Atreus, you know, I feel like we're both completely focused now on just completing our journey Hopefully we don't get interrupted by uh, what's-his-face again by Modi um, Or no, you know what maybe he can interrupt us and uh, Atreus will actually go rage mode this time. That'd be awesome All right, I think we yeah, are gonna go out this way Not quite sure what to expect, but um because I don't, I don't really know the extent of the infrastructure of this uh, of this temple, so I can't imagine it'd be anything too dangerous. Because we're, you know, it's just in the middle of the Lake of Nine. It's not like an outlying area or anything like that. All right, let's try this again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Okay. So then what does it want us to do? I mean, these are the runes. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Sounds good to me. Should we just tell him to say it here? Go. Yeah. I wish oh. I had known I was a god in Alfheim. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. <laughs> You've done nothing to regret. The oh elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had God things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? <laughs> I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, 
using his power and knowledge to stop oh, wow. wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon, it's been known to happen, yes. Hmm. So he was a god of war, just like Kratos was, but he was a good one. Which is something Kratos has always wanted this to be. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. Wow. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. Yeah, I mean, that is that not so exactly what Kratos was trying to be? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim town. Correct. Ah. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Okay. Wow, I did not know Tyr was the god of war in this realm. Where is this black? Don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Whoa. Dang, this place looks sick. Whoa. I gotta keep my distance a little bit. What the heck is going on? Naturally. <laughs> yeah, it always ends up being harder than it seems. Not sure what it's doing. Didn't think it would be that easy. No. Oh, Winds of Hell. kind of hoping, though. Yeah, me too, Atreus. Me too. Um, you know, I probably should have looked. Move it, or you may lose it, brother. Uh, we're probably gonna lose it. I did not look of where to put it. Um, should probably do that. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. All right. Um, but yeah, just real quick. Um, maybe Kratos is now thinking. You know, there's hope for him left to redeem himself, you know, because when we were telling Atreus about our godhood, you know, he was making, and, you know, just frankly in general, he's always made it seem like a curse, right? But maybe, maybe after hearing Tyr's story, you know, he might start thinking godhood can be a blessing to, you know, himself and others, and especially a blessing to Atreus as well, you know? Um, that's just something to think about. Something for Kratos to think about, too. Too far. Follow me. Probably gonna open up a fight or something. A wheel works, too. Not sure what it's gonna do. Well, that's unfriendly. Yep, that looks dangerous. <laughs> hmm. What do we do? Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. Oh, really? It's too small for father. Go. Okay, that's convenient. Oh, wait. Is he done? Thought he was gonna go in. Oh, I see, I see. So he's gonna go there while I have to do the hard part. Okay. Let's wait for the opening. Ooh, that was close. How do we do this? Oh, here we go. And we made it. Here's a wind trap, but we don't have any winds of hell. Oh dang, look at this treasure. Look at that! 
Let's see, C. He's just gonna... Just gonna drink it? I wonder what's on his mind. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. That's... What the heck? How is... How is this here? That's his legacy. <laughs> What'd you find? Yeah, he's ashamed. Distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Yeah, I think he's contrasting his legacy with Tyr's legacy. Maybe regretting he wasn't a better god. Maybe regretting he hasn't done more good with all the power he has. Oh, uh, Treya saw it. What's this prompt? That's my great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? And not as simple as that, I'm afraid. Hmm. Maybe... Okay, this might be crazy, but maybe these treasures are from all over, and... Um, we learned that Kratos was, he, all he said when he, was that he came from a different land far away from here. You know what I mean? Um, so I think I was maybe overthinking it, overthinking it for a while. Um, like this is probably all on the same planet and, you know, Kratos was just from the Roman area of the planet, planet dominated by, you know, the Roman mythology and, you know, to, he kind of self-exiled himself after the originals to this Norse land you know, and now um, Mimir here was talking about a desert with lots of gods and, you know, just using basic knowledge, like what what's, you know, desert and lots of gods, what does that make you think of? That makes you think of uh, Egypt, you know what I mean? Or at least that's what I think of, you know, so maybe this is, this is like treasure from all over, you know, man, imagine like a God of War game set in Egypt, that would be awesome. Whoa, whoa, hey, we got... Got a little rune here. Alright. Well, I think that might have been the first time I found the seal before I found the chest. But we've been in a dire need of an upgrade uh, in terms of health or rage. So hopefully we'll find the other soon. Okay. I got a wind trap here, so let's just go. Uh oh. Okay. Something I learned in uh, my Muspelheim trials that I did off camera was that it's honestly really effective to um, these little grunts to just hit them with a couple arrows and a couple punches and then boom, you know, this automatic kill. Oh, knocked him over. Yeah, so maybe I was a little too harsh on um, our uh, barehanded moves. Whoa, that was close. I've always had trouble with nightmares for some reason. So I'm trying to get rid of them. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm moving a bit too slow here. There we go, there we go. Doing more work. Oh, jeez. Alright. We are done here. Okay, next gate opened. 
So, like I was. What well, did you see in that box? No, wait, that's not the next game. It is not important. Didn't important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. <laughs> I guess you do like to smash pottery. Ah. Very true, very true. Yeah, we're getting a little bit more insight onto um, how Kratos views himself and how he wants Atreus to be. You know, Kratos obviously views himself in a very negative, like negative light. Wins. You know what I mean? So um, he doesn't want Atreus to be anything like him, uh, which is why he was obviously trying to hide um, his godhood, Atreus's godhood from us. Some of this might have came like a lot quicker to you guys, but I'm just I want, I want you guys to know my um, probably shouldn't take out my axe. I was not expecting that nightmare, but um, but yeah, I'm just trying to like keep you guys updated with like my uh, my thought process here. I mean, I kind of had these hunches, but it's it's clear now that this is those are the kind of the themes that uh, they're trying to push here. So. Yeah, I'm interesting to see Look, how his feelings about himself will change. I just want to know the truth from now, okay? I don't care if it hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. Yep. Yeah, Atreus definitely saw the pot and was just basically trying to get Kratos to tell him how he feels. More small you know? passages. Just try to I talk know. to him about it, you know? Go. Trying to help him. Watch, but... brother. Good luck. Okay, let's wait for it to come to this spot. Ooh, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna jump the gun there a little bit. Oh, what? I didn't think that touched me. Alright, that one was a bit easier. Okay, um... Oh, is this a puzzle now? Look! It's the wolf giants! Skull and Hati. That's right. Uh -oh. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyr know them? I don't know. Liked them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Hmm. My first instinct in this game is to always think, man, am I going to fight these things at some point? That would be a pretty cool fight. Um, but what does he want us to do? Okay, I guess we just open it. Okay, another fight. Don't you enjoy it at all? Nope. Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? I didn't exactly go on Maybe any of the adventures. Wants to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. Ah, uh, the classic, um, the real treasure is the, <laughs> the journey instead of the destination. How do we get this? I don't this... see another trap for the, uh... Winds of hell? Maybe we can get up to one of those balconies for a better look. Balconies? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, seeing Atreus on my back reminds me that I, I wish we got some uh, hardened Svartalheim steel so we could get his sick new armor, but I guess I'll just have to wait. I was hoping to get more, hopefully, by the time we got back on the journey, but that was not the case. Being a little extra. Oh, that was close. I honestly didn't even know these guys could do uh, unblockable moves. Yeah, against these like smaller enemies. Uh, oh, geez, what? Where? I hear him.
Okay. Nicely done. Thank you, Mimir. <laughs> Thank you for your approval. Um, before we got so rudely interrupted. What of these? Thought is faster than wind. Hmm. Perhaps this isn't about speed at all. Is there someplace else the winds can go? Hmm? Look, there's the wind trap. Ah. Just put it there instead. Ah. Okay, so now we can reach it. From the uh, from the ground level. Okay. Now I'm following. Man, if we ever if we're ever short on money, can we you just know, like come back here and take some so stuff? Tear sure was paranoid. Ah, uh, thanks to Odin, with good reason. Odin seems like a son of a bitch. And I've never heard of Tear before. You know, I've heard of names like, you know, Thor and Odin and Loki. Um, even Freya kind of rang a bell. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slower. What the heck? The tree is attacking me. Oh, what? What? It looked like it just marked me. Full chains on the wall. But there are three of them. What do I do? Oh, <laughs> I don't I don't know. Please hurry. I don't know yet if I can drown. Okay, say. <laughs> he's the silver one. He hunts them. Skulls gold and he chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, but which bar do I pull? Left. Ah, uh, shit. Middle bar. Oh fuck, that was wrong. That was wrong. Dude, I'm so gonna die. How do they expect us to do this on our first try? Moon left, sun right, with Midgard in the middle. Um, oh, shit. Middle bar. Can it stop right there? No, it's gonna keep going. Fuck, middle, fuck. Quickly. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is so bad. I'm making Atreus look bad. Usually he's the brains on this operation. Um. Okay, middle. if I... If I just, like, had more time to think... Oh, shit, it went all the way. What the fuck? Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Now, if it just gave me more time... That would be great. I... <laughs> this is not going well, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. So we pull this down. Yep, okay, I got it. Just please give me a little bit more time, please. This goes up, and then pull this one. Yep, 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 come on, go. No, no, no! That's it, I'm dead! Shit. Pull the right. Okay. Middle bar. Can I get them in order? Moon left, sun right. Left boy. Middle, quickly. I'm gonna push this over, but then the moon's gonna middle, shift middle, all the way over. Right. Yeah, that's not right. God middle dang bar. it. The right boy. Okay. What I need to do is get the moon on the bottom. Somehow. Middle quickly. Moon, Midgard, sun. Moon, Midgard, sun. Okay, great, great, great. Alright, right. we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Okay, we'll bring this back over here. Okay, this should be it. I think. Right. That's it. Okay, cool. We got it. Yes, that's something. That's nice. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you kidding me? 
What in the world is going on? Tear, I thought I liked you, but now I'm starting to hate you. Um. Can I take out? No, I can't take out my axe. I, I do not know. Ah, uh, shoot. Am I supposed to do something? I know what to do. A knife? There's no other way. How are we supposed to do it with just a knife? What? No. I don't know. Oh god. Wait, that worked. A knife. I know. But it saved you. Oh man. Lost um lost phase knife. Man, I wish there was a give Atreus a big old hug button right now. Um, jeez. Okay, well, what do I do? Alright, that always works. <laughs> the rain's free! I think we did it! Alright, let's go see what Tears got for us. No. Okay. Raise protection. It rubbed off! What should we do? Oh, yeah. Going. That's right. I forgot. I think she used like boar pee or something um, to give us a protection rune. I knew I saw something glowing on his neck when the when the tree branch grabbed us. I didn't know. I didn't. I forgot what it was though. But that makes sense now. Well, this is Boy. it then. Oh, we don't have the knife anymore. Yeah. Oh wait. Is that it? On the day you were born, I made two knives. Aww. Mixing metals from my home and from this land. One for myself. And when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. So I'm a man now. Like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. Mm -hmm. And you must be better than me. Yep. Understand? That's all he wants. Say it. You will be better. The power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here. But only when tempered by this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. You know, Kratos is, Kratos is much is a much better father than he gives himself credit for. in his hand whoa what the heck the room. Uh oh did you see it yes what did that do I got it Trust me. good then aim for the face jeez you know I saw this um I saw this guy earlier I didn't think he'd come to life though oh dang another one they are creepy looking Okay, I see. My Blades of Chaos bounced off the red one, but I gotta use the axe against the red one and probably the blades against the other one. Ah, jeez. And I guess we just gotta focus on one at a time. Oh 
Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right. We're doing pretty good, pretty good. Haven't seen any unblockables yet. So until I do, I'm just gonna keep going hard here. Almost got this one. Loving that combo. Oh, dang, that hurt. Alright, Blades of Chaos time. Oh, big damage. That's huge. Oh, when finally! God. I have beaten bigger. <laughs> Definitely yeah, have. Yeah, I'm turned around. Which way is the sand ball back up? <laughs> Man, it tries to getting way more cocky now. But we finally got our heavy runic attack, a destructive slam that hits enemies with two blade slams. Tartarus Rage. Okay, really standard, kind of like the first uh, light um, light runic attack we got for the blades. Um, decent stats though, not going to lie, especially when we upgrade them, it's going to gain a lot more. Um, I, I won't bother, well, let's just go ahead and equip it, I won't bother uh, upgrading it just yet, just in case. And, uh, what's this? Crest of Flame? Chaos Flame. A small flame that has no source but burns in all directions, generated through mighty battles. Upgrade blade, okay. Blades of Chaos, okay. I saw that flame symbol and I thought I was hoping maybe it's Crest of Flame, but it's probably too good to be true. Oh, we got the steel! Dude, yes! We can get Atreus' armor now. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's see here. Let's just go ahead and upgrade our runic attack. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, we got enough. We got enough. 18,000. Oh, we have 136,000. At first glance, I thought we only had 13,000. Okay. Then we definitely have enough. Cool. All right. Then we got... Um, we can upgrade Atreus' armor if we make it back to Brock. And we got what we came for, so let's just go ahead and head on up. I see a chest here. Yeah, maybe I should uh maybe I should check and just double check and make sure there's nothing we're gonna leave behind. Hmm. Weightless grips of protection, rare blades pommel. Moderate perk activation chance to grant protective barrier, preventing damage from enemy attacks on successfully landing Rising Fury on an enemy. I believe Rising Fury is uh, is holding down R2. We have a MPA on uh, any successful hit to grant aura of fire, increasing strength and a small amount of health. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this one a little bit more. This one's level 5, but... I like this effect um, a little bit more, so we're just going to stick with this one. Alright, anything else we missed around here? I mean, we took an elevator down here. Um, I guess that's, that's what Mimir was talking about. Uh, he didn't see the, the, bowl, the sand bowl to go back up. Not really seeing anything else, though, that we really missed. Climbed up there. Is this the way out? Oh, I almost said no, but we can open it. Ah, oh, here we go. Cool. All right, making progress. You're.
the rune did something to Atreus. Like, it only activated when he held it. You know, it didn't activate when I did. We're so close to the end. Sit. More teaching time. Yeah, he took this away. The island of Lemnos. Near the place of my birth. Oh. That's why he was um, kind of smelling it earlier, because it reminded him of home. Lemnos. To a journey's end. Really? <laughs> Drink up. Does it smell bad? Like eggs. <laughs> yeah. Is it still good? Possibly. Possibly. Ugh. <laughs> Doesn't seem good. <laughs> so yeah, the, there was treasure from all over in that vault. Ah. <laughs> A little bit of humor I see coming from a tra or Kratos. That is very rare. Oh, we're we're going all the way up. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? What other gods? They're all dead. It's just. You hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Pretty much. Yes. Ah, but who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet head. That's we the qu <laughs> quiet head. We know better. <laughs> uh huh. Sounding more like your da by the moment. Definitely. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. All right. I mean, as long as it keeps, you know, the the cockiness, uh, you know, under wraps, I think it'll be good. <laughs> Too much is obviously a bad thing, but you know, cockiness can be good. We do what we want, and now we're gonna go see the giant. Ah. Having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Nobody's getting in our way this time. Come on. Okay. Uh, well, first, though, let's go back to Brock and upgrade what we can. But, yeah, that was a really cool scene. Um, really cool scene. Atreus finally got to try something from, you know, a land that is his father was from and part of him is from so that's really cool though i didn't expect to have any of uh greek stuff in tears vault so let me see if i have this right you and Sindri made me own here yep and then thor used it to kill a lot of people your damn point just seems like you're mad at each other about it instead of being mad at thor kid i like you but you don't begin to appreciate the complexities what develop between families you don't hear me lecturing your old man how he ought to be raising you. And believe me, there's plenty different. <laughs> Sorry, Brock. Just trying to help. Back to his old self, I see. <laughs> the soft Brock that was super nice is now gone. <laughs> so what'd you find out there? Blades of Chaos upgrade and Talonbow upgrade. I like the sound of that. Not sure what else we can upgrade, though. I thought we were going to upgrade this. Yeah, Chaos Flame. Cool. One of these days you're going to tell me who made those beauties. That's level three skills on the table there. We'll go check those out soon. Um, what else? Talonbow upgrade as well. Son? We got three hard and sparkle time steel. That's cool. 
Boom. New skills are now available. Nice. What next? Okay. Finally. I just gotta decide which one we want. Yeah, it looks like I went with the... Hold on a second. Did I completely miss these? What the heck? What the heck? I totally did miss these. Yeah, he's been on this on these green ones like the whole game. Huh. All right. Well, that's unfortunate, but I mean, hey, he's been it's not like I haven't been like, "Oh man, I wish Atreus was more helpful." You know, he's been fine. Um uh, just kind of just a little bit salty that I just completely missed this, but that's okay. Um we're we're on to greener pastures now. So I'm going to base my decision on two factors. First being obviously how effective it is and the second being how cool does it look or how much does it fit how I want Atreus to look. I'll be honest with you right off the bat this yellow one kind of takes a hit in that regard because I, I just don't feel like this whole bright yellow thing makes him look cool. Again that's nothing to do with um, the effect. It could very well be the best armor effect wise but there's uh, there's two things to consider here not just one so at least that's how I'm. That's how I've chosen to uh, go about picking this. Some some people might be like, "Oh, I only care about how it looks," or "Oh, I only care about how effective it is in the gameplay." But yeah, let's just go ahead and see. You know, I got the red one first, and you know, I, I really like the whole red theme that um, Kratos and Atreus has been going with. You know, with the Muspelheim armor, and uh, you know, Atreus being my son, I obviously want him to match a little bit. So let's just go ahead and see if the effects stack up as well. Expose weakness. Enemies choked by Atreus will take increased damage. Okay. Enhanced strikes increases stun damage inflicted by Atreus's melee attacks. And iron grip. Atreus can choke enemies for longer. This one's cool looking though. Uh, Atreus will sometimes find health stones when Kratos is injured. Whoa. Okay. That's awesome. Increases health stone potency. Dang. That's awesome too. After using a runic summon, arrows will deal additional status damage for 8 seconds. I'll be honest with you, those effects blow these out of the water, in my opinion. And then this yellow one, enemies in air take increased damage. When rapid firing, the last arrow inflicts increased damage. Arrows fired while in the air inflict additional damage. Yeah, I'm not, again, I'm not really too keen on that, so I'm going to scrap the yellow armor. Sorry for you yellow armor fans out there. Um, so it's between these two. This one, this one has it all. It has an uh, amazing effects. Those three effects are awesome because, you know, you know me, uh, something I always value is being able to stay in the fight as long as possible. And this is just another factor that'll help us do just that. And then on top of that, it looks really cool. And, you know, it's, it's primarily blue. You know, I think it's the next version of this one, the blue one, and this one. Um, but this one gets a little bit of red added to it too. So, you know, it's still kind of, still kind of, you know, coincides with my, um, love of the color red for Atreus and Kratos. So yeah, guys, I think I'm going to get this one. You know, being small like us, that's natural armor. That's nice. And that is awesome. Yeah. Been looking forward to that for a while now. Okay, um, now I guess all that's left is to upgrade our well, weapons. See you next time you need something. Let's just start with a bow. Cool. Completely upgraded the bow. Now, what I'm wondering is Kratos got two weapons, you know, and as soon as we pretty much maxed out the first weapon, we got a second weapon. And we're about to do the same for Atreus, so maybe Atreus will get another weapon or something. Maybe the knife, I don't know. Uh, but that would be cool. I'm not really uh, hoping for it. Well, I am hoping for it, but you know, if that if that's not the case, I'm not really too bothered. But that would definitely be cool though if Atreus got another weapon. All right, so the first one, light arrow explosions inflict stun damage on hit. Only three thousand. Not even gonna think about it. And then shock conduit can chain to even more people. Again, three thousand. Let's do it completely maxed out Atreus's talent bow. So he he is looking pretty formidable now. Got a full set of uh, abilities here and a new cool set of legendary armor. All right, lastly, got our tier 3 Blades of Chaos abilities. First one, Elemental Surge. 
That's cool. After impaling an enemy with the Spear of Chaos attack, hold R1 to send an elemental wave of energy down the chain, blasting and launching the enemy into the air. Okay, that's pretty cool. Instead of pulling them in, because I'm pretty sure pulling them in does damage as well. Hey, pull them in, yeah. It does a little bit of stun damage, um, so that's always nice, but this gives you a different option to mix things up and just kind of explodes. Um, probably does less stun but more damage than this one, even though it doesn't explicitly say that. But um, not an instant purchase. Still cool, though. I'll, I'll come back to it. And then you need this one. Okay, see, that's kind of what I was about to say. When I saw the explosion on this one, I was kind of hoping it would be a bit bigger and kind of affect others, but that's what this one's all about. So that makes this one a little bit more valuable, in my opinion. But let me just make sure to check the other ones. Aim and hold R2 to charge up burn damage that is inflicted on impact. Okay. So there's, um, that's aiming and pressing R2. And this one's just, it kind of like just makes it stronger. Okay, that's cool. And what else? While evading, hold L back and press R1 to attack all enemies in a large radius. Yeah, that gives us like a kind of a dodge um, attack mix up type thing. So I'm pretty sure we have one for the axe as well. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, I've used that a couple times. I really do like it. Um, so it's nice to have an option like that for the blades as well. While sprinting, R2 to leap into the air and perform a powerful chain slam attack. Didn't we? Oh no, we did have an attack like that. You know, and again, the uh, the axe has an equivalent move of, about that if you remember. So, and I've I've used that one a lot. So definitely gonna get this. And then this is another while evading, plus forward and R1. This one's back in R1, and this one's forward in R1. Yeah, you know what? We're, we're stacked on XP, and all these are pretty cheap, so let's just go ahead and get all of them. And there we go. All right. We're actually pretty close to getting the blades uh, fully upgraded now, so that's always good news. All right, guys, got a lot done. Um, really cool story mission. Um, it was very, it was very easy, if I do say so myself. Like the the boss battle at the end, they were both green and they were just eating eating the damage I was giving them. So, um, but to contrast that, despite it being pretty easy, I really liked the development we we got to see between Kratos and Atreus. You know, learned a lot about um, how Kratos views himself and what he wants for Atreus in the future, and how Atreus is been really responding well to uh, Kratos' teachings. So their relationship is just growing and growing, you know? So all we have left to do now is to go back to the summit, which we seems like a long time ago that we were back up there. I mean, if you think about it, the last time we were at the summit was when we got Mimir for the first time. So yeah, I can't wait to work our way back up the mountain. And uh, I'm sure it won't be as easy as it seems, uh, as always. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have been enjoying this journey as much as I have. And um, and yeah, I guess I'll just see you all in the next one. Peace.